Hey guys, welcome back, and we are continuing again uh, with Thimbleweed Park. So, this should be um, the third week. Um, uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff has gone down if you're just joining us. Um, basically, as you can see up here, we are down to one agent, so I won't. Um, get into spoilers, but I'm actually not even sure what happened. Um, so hopefully Agent Reyes will be back. Oh, that sounds really creepy. So yeah, hopefully she'll be back soon. Um, I've switched, I've decided to switch to playing this with uh, headphones on, which uh, guys won't be able to tell the difference, but I feel like it's going to be a bit more immersive for me. Oh, okay. So, let's have a look. That looks like Agent Ray's notebook. I hope she's okay. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. Oh I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent <laughs> Protocol. I feel like this might not be the best idea considering what happened last time. I'm not opening up that oh. disgusting trash can. Okay. Let's can we open the door. It's locked. Okay, so let's just get out of here. Um uh, maybe we can go in here and have a look. That guy is still terrifying. Um What can I do for you, honey? <laughs> What's up with the sheriff? That's funny. He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. How is the cow is the coroner? The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around yeah, the eyes, eyes, but yeah. that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying Areno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. Huh. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. That's seriously never gonna stop. Like, how does speech prove me. they're not I mean, the same person? Amusingly. You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. What's up with this okay. town? Maybe Most of the stores are abandoned. Stuff. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. <laughs> Ain't that right, Dave? His face is like, why? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, I guess. Oh, a hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. Oh God, we're I trying regret to move them out. I didn't Eat want. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, I regret my decision. Okay, that is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. Oh. <sighs> I feel better now. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's go in. Maybe he can eat a ham. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Special announcement. Okay. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. Chet. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Okay, we need to find Chet. What can I do for you, honey? I would like to order some food. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'm gonna order everything. I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Oh, come sure, on, lady. everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a pie. Sorry, 
Dave ate the last piece. Really? See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. He is creepy. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Seriously, I can't get over how crazy I'll that have guy a salad. Is. Sorry, we're out of salad. Really? Aphid scare. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the swine sex. Sorry, honey. Foreign businessmen got the last one a few nights ago. Been a big rush on exotic That'd foods these past few weeks. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. All right, let's get out of here and actually have a look. So we don't have Agent Ray. What's this? Let's go down here, actually. Oh. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Lovely. Hey, what is that? Cool. Looks like they're open. Oh, let's go in. Maybe we'll find Agent Ray. Wow, this place is weird. Okay, let's talk to Ricky Lee. <laughs> hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Hi. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Right? Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes. Okay, sounds like an interesting turn of events, and I have something I really want to talk to you about. That's a shame. I was really hoping for a slice of cherry pie. Sounds like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube, actually. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot, okay. and I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Tubular tubes, tube tastic, tube town, YouTube. Oh god, these are all weird. Um, YouTube's the funniest one, but we'll go tube tastic. Tube oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. Glad I could help. Awesome. I'm looking for a tube. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and Jesus. models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Uh, WC. And what is the make number? Number s Oh, God. I can't remember. It was either 66 or 65. Let's Let me see if we have them in stock. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened Oops. to her. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? Oh, I should raise back. And what is the make number? So we went 65. Let me Let's see if we 66. have them in stock. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? No. I'm all tubed out. <laughs> um, That's not a two-letter model identifier, huh? <laughs> Do you know the two-letter model identifier? No. I'm all tubed out, thanks. Okay, hun. Just holler if you need me. Ah, uh, it was WC67, not even Hey close. there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Hey. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. Okay. We have lots of tubes here. What happens to tube Over 3,000 different makes and name. models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? I do. It's WC. And what is the make number? 
67. Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? It oh, did. Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, oh, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You Thank just you. wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Oh. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. That was weird. She's too far away. I'm feeling some concern for Agent Ray. Yeah, we hey will there. talk. Hey there, let's go oh, over to the counter where we can talk. And check on Agent Ray after this. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah? <laughs> and super sad. It Poor is. Poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Seriously, this place is creepy. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. Just promise to be careful. Just promise to be careful who you trust. Okay. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. This is creepy. Okay, what do you, what think, do of you Chuck? think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. Oh, he was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two base technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. Forgot about this. Okay. What do you think about the state of the town then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure. But it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Alright. Why did you stop selling cakes? Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Okay. That was a bit weird though. She's like, I'm not complaining. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. <laughs> Are you really this happy? Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Seriously, that's weird. Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. Charming. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. <laughs> okay. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Okay, let's chill here. And oh my god, what the fuck? Where is she? There's a speck of dust. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes, the only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. Jesus Christ, there is a skeleton. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. <laughs> hmm. Hard to tell. I can't pull that. It's made of plastic. Okay. No murder here. Uh, let's use the valve. I can't turn it. What the tunnel? Oh god, okay, let's go right. No, let's go left. Let's pick this up. Let's look at this. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. Okay, let's keep going. An emergency call Christopher something. The only reason to pick up a manhole cover is to go down the manhole, and I'm not in the mood tonight. Alright. Christopher... Oh, I cannot make that out. What does it say? Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. 
Only one way to find out, I guess. Christopher something. It's a cell phone. Oh. The cell phone has no reception. Oh, a phone. It needs a dime to work. Oh, God. We don't have any money. Okay. Let's get out of here. Are we going to get a dime from? I can't turn this one either. Uh... It's sealed shut. No way to open it. Okay, we are stuck. It's a cell phone. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. The cell phone has no reception. What if I climb up? The cell phone has no reception. Alright. <laughs> we had something back there, so... Let's see if we can find a manhole. Pick up the speck of dust. creepy. It's a door. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Okay, let's see if we can go back into that alley. Oh, actually. Okay, and it was Christopher... something with a T. Oh, I thought it went by last name. Alright, Chris. Chris, Chris, no, Chris Carla, Chris who, Farsi, LMNOP, QRST, Chris, hmm, what about W? Let's go. Okay, let's try this again. I can't reach that. Call. Chet. Call Chet. Christopher. Ah, oh, there we go. The spelling for Christopher was different. I was looking for a Chris. All right. Let's try this again. Christian, Christoph, Christopher. No. Okay, this is a Three, three, zero. Three, three, zero. It's out of order. Oh, are you kidding me right now? There's got to be a phone around here somewhere. Okay, let's try this again. We interrupt our hostile oh. takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until weird. the government fesses up to the vast conspiracy. And now back to our special hostile takeover. It doesn't have any buttons. 
Must be for incoming calls only. How the hell am I going to? Attention, all units! Uh, Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Man, how am I going to get that phone? I don't think there was a phone in here either. Oh, there are manhole covers though. Whoa, that was terrifying. Okay, I'm leaving because this is creepy. God damn, I need to find a payphone. Oh, of course I have the tube. Let's go back to the town. How can I be so silly? Let's talk to these pigeons. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I have help. I got your WC67 tube. Thank You're you. Welcome. Excellent. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. Oh, thank we'll you. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. No time to talk. <laughs> we have to tidy up. Okay, okay, okay. Split like a wishbone. <laughs> yeah, little pigeon humor. Okay. So, I'm pretty much looking for anywhere that has a manhole cover or a phone. Okay. I don't have any windows to clean. Okay. I don't have a birdcage to line. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight okay. years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Uh, investigating a murder. Do you offer home delivery? We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. Yep. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Nope. You? Ha, Clark Kent. Clark Kent? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of oddorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Oh, well, don't. owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. Jesus. Also, I love how there's like a UFO thing here on the newspaper. That's awesome. And there's that weird tentacle thing, actually. What else do you know about Jock? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The Jeez. factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment, uh, acne intervention, aardvark insemination jesus let's pick the most ridiculous one hard bark insemination <laughs> artificial intelligence 
Uh, computers that can think? He started automating the whole town. Nice. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there, the Copytron 3000. Then, Tell me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Yeah. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. Yeah, totally. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. Actually, yeah. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed That's for the whole thing. But good. I have my doubts. I just need some evidence. And I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Why do I feel like she's going to die? What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've oh tried to God. gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Cover-up arena? Do, she, do you offer she home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Yes. The town's got a charm to it. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. Ugh. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Don't you mean the 15th Amendment? I'm American, nope. so I don't that know. That prohibits this. the denial of the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Don't you mean the 22nd Ugh, Amendment? This is getting ridiculous. No, that limits the number of times that a person can be elected president. Don't you mean the 18th Amendment? Oh my god. No, so that prohibited the manufacturing or sale of alcohol within the United States, but repealed in 1933. Don't you mean the oh 22nd Amendment? No, that limits the number of times that a person can be elected president. Okay, so it's a looping now. Oh, Don't 16. you mean the 16th Amendment? No, that permits Congress to levy an income tax. Nice chatting. Okay, Not a I murder can't. to solve. <laughs> Chuck Edmund wins. Ooh, okay. So, is that a war problem? Mysterious violin music is driving town folk mad. That's actually concerning. Baby gators escape from Pet Emporium. Are the sewers their homes now? Look at S and D dinner attempts. World record for biggest thimbleberry pie deemed. In inedible. Jesus. Okay. What else? Oh, God. And what else have we got? Horror author Merton Steele finds inspiration. For book after stay at the Edmund Hotel. That's not promising. Madame Morena says, I told you so, Sheriff Eats hat after stunning TV wrestling defeat. Well, it looks like the wrestling might have been just on TV. Cryptozoologists and UFO enthusiasts flood into town after tentacle sighting. That must be what that is. Local groundskeeper wins holy award. Doug Braveman has won the long overdue award. I'm caught in compromising clown car caper. 21 accomplices sought. Sick local promo for wear pigeon. Jesus. Skunk sets off smoke alarm in Quickie Pal bathroom. Quickie Pal. Leonard, obvious. Arrested for DUI. She screamed, Do you know who I am? A 
called Oddball. Hey, it's the chick who cursed um, Ransom the Clown, I think. Purple Meteor Strike coming in the coming days. Wasn't that something they were talking about? Okay, I think that's all the newspaper. Newspapers. I thought it was. Surrealist so film, I got Hannibal Finch scanning thing, but we just film location. Ah! How did I not think of that? I don't want to open it. Why? I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. It's a color Copytron 3000. The Copytron takes nickels. What's this? A dime. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't think we're gonna find much. That was a bit of a waste of time. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Okay, let's see if we can get some kind of help. Can we open any of these? Maybe she's underneath the um, post office somehow. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Right, approach control. Yeah, I'm pretty slumped right now. How can oh, I help? Diner. Well, I feel retarded for pronouncing that wrong. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? Yes. I work for Uncle Sam too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Oh, thanks. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as w usual. No one from my route is missing and I would yeah, definitely I notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Really? Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Hmm. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? The job is a joke. You need a sense of humor to work at the post office. They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna leave now. Get it? <laughs> Good one. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. No, they're fine where they are. Okay, we need to leave, actually. And with that, I might leave this episode here. Um, it feels like we haven't done too much, but um, at least we know Agent Race is okay. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.